Hi, my name is Glenn Taylor. Um, I, I'm from Cypress, Texas, just outside of Houston, and um, I've been a CPA for 10, 15 years. I'm in the oil and gas services industry, and uh, in that industry, we uh, we have our ebbs and flows, markets up and down. Things get tough, things get tight, things flourish. Um, one recent thing, that event, I guess, that happened in my company is we went through a merger a few years ago. And anything that comes out of that is a lot of conflict with personalities, management styles, and that kind of stuff. Um, and that was a big learning point for me, um, having to deal with new people who reported up to me or that I reported to. Um, there seems to be walls in the way and uh, the invisible walls that you can't see and you don't know how big and thick they are. And it's, it's tearing down those walls and trying to, you know, relate with people. And so you can work and communicate and, uh, I guess, assess and move on and grow. The, I guess, issues that we have with personalities is when you go through a merger, it's the uncertainty. Um, uncertainty on both sides, uh, you know, you being, you, you being the buyer or the buyee or whichever side of the transaction you're on, there's always that uncertainty if you're going to stick around and if you're, if you're going to um, stick around and, and if, if the, you're the one that management chooses. Um, it, it's, it's, that's where the personalities kick in, that's where the dog-eat-dog -dog world kicks in and it's very taxing on a person and it can, it can, be, it can wear you down. In order for us to become a team, I mean, you can't, what I found is it doesn't happen overnight. It's like whenever you take a new job or a new position, you don't go and, and change processes and procedures the first day. You got to learn the role, you got to learn people. You, I, I just sat back and observed, if you will. I, I did pitch in, but I sat back and observed um, and got to see what kind of personalities I was actually dealing with. And the way I cut through it is we all have something in common. Some, either be it small or big, be it where you're from or where you visited or, or you know, uh, your favorite sports teams, whatever the case may be, I was able to relate and then you start identifying those areas, those avenues of communication and you find out, you know, what kind of personalities you're dealing with, you start talking more and you, you, you realize who you're dealing with and it kind of puts a human aspect to things. Uh, they're just not some person with a name or a ID number. They're actually human, and um, you're able to identify who can contribute, who can't, who who has your back, and who doesn't. Well, I, I guess one of the guys, he's he's Scottish, uh, harsh accent, and uh, he's a, he's very outspoken. But it turns out that we have the same ideals and we have the same desires. We see the same things in the organization. We see everybody still working inside the box and not trying to work their way outside the box and think outside the box and try to break into new markets and hire new and better people. But I guess the common denominator is we realize both sides of the equation from a management standpoint had their issues, you know, and we had to learn how to work together to work through it to be able to not really push an agenda, but to get people to think outside the box and open their eyes.